Hi everyone, Dr. Jonathan Kuttner. I'm going to bring up a very interesting part of chronic pain. What we're going to talk about is something that's quite fascinating. It's a, the, the whole question of pain is constantly, uh, in a way, mind-boggling. It's, it's n often not what it seems. And uh, what I'll do is I'll tell you a story first about an actual patient of mine and then we'll talk about the science of how can it be that this happens. So this was a lady in her 50s who came to me and said, look, I have this horrible crushing pain. It, it's in both shoulders and it is really, really severe. When it occurs, it's almost overwhelming. I have this, uh, this in, intense crushing feeling. I can almost not breathe. And it's been there for years and years. It comes and it goes. When it comes, it can last for sometimes a few hours, sometimes even up to a few days. And through, on those that while I've got it, is which it kind of overwhelms me and takes over my life. And then it goes, strangely. So I listened and we talked and uh, we weren't getting anywhere. Then, and this was probably the second or third time, uh, she was sitting in the waiting room. It was, she was the only person there. She was due to come and see me. And my receptionist, who's absolutely wonderful, <laughs> um, started to have a conversation. And for some strange reason, this lady said, you know, and they were discussing something, she said, you know, I just remember when I was in my early, like my late teens. Now this lady's in her 50s. She said, you know, there was this weird thing that happened to me, which was that I, was, I live in a, a fairly small town and I was walking along the street and two men just appeared out of nowhere and they squeezed in on either side of me and they were propelling me. It was that, like I felt must, I was being propelled towards a motor car by them. I uh, realized that if I was going, to, if I ended up in that motor car, that they were going to whisk me away and they were going to do terrible things to me. I just knew it deep inside. And as they were pushing me towards the car, I screamed and I elbowed them and I broke free and I ran and then suddenly people around me realized something had happened and they didn't, they just bolted for the car, got in and disappeared. And then she came in to see me and she broke into tears and she said, I think I may have worked it out. And I said, worked what out? And then she told me the story. And she said, do you think that this has anything to do with my pain? And of course, the, the answer is absolutely yes. So what we're talking about here is something that occurred 30, 35 years before. This incredibly frightening experience of literally two people crushing in where she had this crushing feeling, where she was completely out of control, where she was propel being propelled towards some kind of unknown, terrible thing. She couldn't breathe and it was an overwhelming experience. She then broke free and thank goodness nothing happened. But what happened to her was that this was one of a number of experiences that happen throughout our lives that are too difficult. She never, she never then went to see a psychologist, had de debriefing or, or any kind of counseling or anything like that. She just got on with her life. What had happened in her being is that this was, this episode was too difficult for her to cope with. And so what she did was she repressed it. She pushed it down 
into her subconscious mind where it just sat there and then when it would come up she would relive this experience again and she relived it not as two men coming in and crushing it she relived it as a crushing pain that is uh, that, that overwhelmed her now the fascinating thing is that there's new, there's new work to show that the place that when you feel normal pain, which is the pain we all, I say you stub your toe, there, there, there is functional scanning. So functional MRI, PET scans, what they do is that not only do they take pictures of your brain, but they sh show areas that are being utilized in your brain. So they fun the function of your brain. So if you stub your toe, certain areas of your brain will light up. And this is consistent. So we worked out now that if you injure yourself and it's acute injury, your brain will light up in a certain pattern. If you have a, uh, a um, terrible emotional trauma or you say you're depressed or you're anxious or you have some kind of really significant emotional problem, different parts of your brain light up. They, bear, they don't have a lot, the two patterns are quite different. If you have chronic pain, which is, this is not acute pain, this is pain that has been there for a very long time, which is no longer acting like acute pain, where your pain system is malfunctioning, when you have that kind of pain, the areas that light up in your brain are virtually the same as the areas that light up when you have depression and anxiety. So, your brain is treating the pain messages in the same way that it treats the emotional issues, the emotional trauma. And this is, for her, this is a perfect example. She actually didn't have an injury. She had a huge emotional trauma, but later on, because her mind, because of the way that the mind deals with chronic pain, emotional pain is the same as physical pain. That's how our mind sees it. It's a very, very fascinating phenomenon. And once, and this is the beauty of it, is that the real power is once she saw it and we talked about it, it shrunk and went away. That's how powerful it is. So knowledge is true power. She just needed to confront that memory, to bring the memory out where it so it didn't sit there like, uh, a, you know, like some festering thing down in, in her subconscious mind. Once it was brought out into the light of day, she could look at it, she stopped getting these horrible episodes of crushing pain. Fascinating and also fascinating because when this happens we recognize that your brain functions completely differently when you have chronic pain and when you have acute pain. Thank you.